How's it going everyone? Today I'm gonna to talk about a topic that hits me personally because I've been through it before and it is one of the worst feelings on earth. And for me, that is being laid off or unemployed. I'm gonna go through my experience and some suggestions and tips I have so you could best equip yourself for what's ahead. Now, I'll tell you this, it is, it is the worst because I, I felt like for me there was no weekend. Everyone would be like, oh, doing this, doing that. And I'd be like, it's just another day. And there would be time where you have just countless hours w with your thoughts, where you're just in your head, you're wondering if you could have done something different or if you made the right move. Um, and so my last position, I actually got laid off and the one before that I quit and I ended up regretting it. So here's my suggestion. When you get laid off, the first thing you should do is immediately cut off everything non-essential in your life. So if you like drinking beers on a Tuesday, watching it, you know, at the sports bar, doing sports, but cut that out. If you are, you know, watching TV or playing excess video games, cut that out. If you are doing certain things that you internally, you know what I'm talking about. If you feel inside aren't right, cut it out. You know what isn't supposed to be in your life. And this is the time for a clean slate to try to do things the right way. Now, this is just a suggestion here, but my advice is, like, and I know it's cheap when you're staying at home, but my advice is to not stay at home and actually to go to a coffee shop or go anywhere, anywhere at all, where you can interact or look at other people, see other people. When you're in your own apartment or in your own house and you're just there all day long, it can get pretty dark because your time is passing you by. You may scroll, you may go on Twitter or Facebook or do something. And before you know it, a couple hours is over. That's half a work day for most people, right? And the time, it just tends to go by quicker. If you go into a Starbucks and you maybe buy a $2 coffee or you do something like that, other people around you are being productive as well. And when other people are productive, you tend to be as well. And go to a library. There could be any anywhere you, you go. But just don't just stay, you know, seven days, 14, 21 days at home nonstop. That's not, a, that's not productive. And to be honest, it didn't help me as well when I wanted to get out of unemployment. The next thing, and this is like something I struggle with because I hate, I hate applying to jobs. But make sure not to just quick apply or apply to jobs online. You know, you gotta do things different. We're, we're living in a competitive day and age. And if you reach out to people over LinkedIn or you kind of go golfing with your employer or you do something unique, that is gonna stand out. If you're applying to jobs online or on Quick Apply, what makes you different, right? There's a lot of people that went to Harvard and all these nice schools. There's a lot of people that have done a lot of things that one may say um, is better than you, right? So what, what makes you different? And if you just have a resume just like the rest of the people out there and you don't stand out, you're going to get tossed into the dustbin or the recruiters won't even reach out to you. So I encourage you all to try to find an avenue that is different and not just go down the same path as everyone else. The next thing that I would consider at least looking into is maybe start a business or write up a business plan. You have all the time in the world, right? If you treat it like eight hours a day, maybe put an hour towards starting a business plan or studying about how to open up a business. These are good things to do because at the end of the day, what do you have to lose? Time, you have time, and you can always stay up late. You know, you don't have to wake up at a certain hour. You can really kind of go that extra mile when you start up a business and you have nothing to lose. Remember that you have nothing to lose other than time and energy and maybe a little bit of money. The Something that I really did when I lost my position is I bought a couple of books that I have, ne you know, or I just read books that I never got to. So I would Maybe I bought two or three books. Maybe I had a few books already and I would read them and I would just go to the pool or sit outside or go to a coffee shop and just spend an hour or two just reading and taking the time, you know, in the busy life we live where 
we're working all day, we come home, we're after the commute, working out. By the end of the day, we're toast, we're done. We can't do anything, zilch. If you do this, and you're in this treadmill and you'll get laid off, you have all the time to study and read and learn new things that maybe you've been putting off. I This is something I, I didn't do and it's something I'm doing now and I highly recommend everyone does this. And that is signing up for a difficult race or a challenge. Now is the time, guys. Now is the time to do the difficult thing that you've been putting off. You wanna eat healthy? I guarantee you by doing this, you're gonna start eating healthier because you don't, you don't want to run a marathon or maybe do a triathlon if you've been eating McDonald's or Taco Bell or any of that junk because you will really think critically about the fuel you nurture yourself with. Staying positive, that's the key thing. You know, it's easy to get negative, kind of doom scroll, kind of think about how everything's wrong with the world, it's very easy to do that. And I think you gotta have that strong network of people. If people are negative to you, ignore them. And if people are very negative to you, cut them out of your life. But at the end of the day, try to find a strong network of people that have your back and that are willing to hang out with you and not look down at you, but treat you as someone equal. Next, I would have to say, just don't get discouraged. I mean, take the lessons, feedback, move forward. It's rough. I applied to hundreds of jobs in 2016, didn't hear back from many people, and it was just very discouraging. So my advice is just keep going forward, take the lessons, you'll have a bad interview or two, but at the end of the day, you'll make it through this. You will, and you have to, because this is your life, and you need to value yourself and hold yourself up to a high esteem. Now... This is one thing I encourage everyone to do. And you should you should be doing this even if you have a full-time job, and that's getting rid of the things that you have tied to debt. Whether that's a car, whether that's a I don't know, a personal loan or a boat or any of that stuff, get rid of it. Don't keep it on. I understand if you have a mortgage, you know, you, you have to run the numbers, but the bottom line is what you don't want to do is keep these things that are tying you back and holding you back. Now is the time to go gazelle intense, scorched earth, and reduce your expenses, and oftentimes interest expenses, one of those expenses. Take that risk too. You know, that's one thing I, I say is what do you yeah, like I said earlier, what do you have to lose? But take that risk, start that business, go skydiving, do things that you normally wouldn't do. Because you don't want to live a life where you're not taking risks and a few years from now you end up regretting that. So take those risks and try to live that good quality of life. I would have to say, you know, work out as much as you can too. And I know I pre previously talked about that with the race, but, you know, maybe you'll go to a coffee shop. You'll wake up, you'll go work out, you'll go to a coffee shop, you'll come home, work out again. What's wrong? If you don't have a job, at least have the best body, you know? So that's something to think about. You, and this is another one, and I know I'm kind of going point by point here, but I, I just, I have a lot I want to get through. And just take, take your mind and keep it open to possibilities because we often can get pigeonholed into thinking, oh, I need to do this, or I need to do that, or I'm a finance guy, I'm a procurement guy, I'm an operations guy, I'm a payroll guy. And we, we think that's all we are. There's tens, hundreds of thousands of jobs out there. What if you try something new? What if this is the time to try something new? Guess what? If it doesn't work out, you could always be back do, being unemployed, you know? There's, what do you have to lose? And I understand we all have different pressures in life and things holding us back from certain areas, but think about that. Think about that piece for a sec. Now, this is something that I encourage everyone to do, and that is volunteering, getting out of the comfort zone, picking up a temporary job. Look, none of this stuff is permanent. You're just doing, you're trying to pass the time and keep, keep your mind in a good headspace. And I think all these things are good. And it helps you add value, pick up your esteem, helps you feel like you're contributing to some way to this earth. 
Now, this is what I did. I don't recommend everyone does it. Only if you're financially prepared, I would consider doing this. But that is consider traveling, travel the world, go to different countries, see different places and explore different places as well. And think about it like this. We, we live in a world where we have hun like several hundred countries, 200 plus countries. Why not visit 25 of them? If you know, you, you go to Europe, you can go to London and you can take a, a train and go to like 15 countries and it's relatively cheap. So think about this. There's a time in your life where if you don't have a lot of overhead and a lot of expenses, it's something to think about. Something I did and it's something I don't regret. And I got to learn a lot of cool things and go to places that my boss would never approve right now. Lastly, and most importantly, this is something that I encourage everyone to do, even if you're not unemployed, and that is studying money. I really mean that. Like, study money. What makes it valuable? We trade eight hours of our life energy a day working for this currency, the U.S. dollar, or wherever you're from. But the bottom line is this. We spend so much time wasting away toiling for this, what is money? And where are you allocating your money? And at the end of the day, if you study what is money and you come to conclusions you don't like, there are other monies out there that you can learn. And for me, that money is Bitcoin. And at a minimum, if you're skeptical about the, the, the crypto area, at least look, about, look at gold and silver, right? It's at least a step in the right direction. But what you don't want to do is go from job to job to job throughout your life and keep earning fiat and being trapped in the fiat debt cycle. So overall, guys, if you've been laid off, I hope this podcast has helped you kind of look and see what other options are there out there to do if I'm unemployed or what can I do to keep it pro productive, keep an upbeat attitude and all that stuff. Anyways, I hope you all have a good rest of your day. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please be sure to share it, like it, subscribe, and also stream some sats. I have a link in the description below from Strike if you want to click it. Uh, and I hope you all have a good rest of your day.